play. Interesting for me that uh, Germany have chosen to receive because the other night Petros was by the end of the match the best player on the court in the dead rubber mixed doubles against Canada but he did have a slightly slower start where he was trying to figure out when to cross how active to be and uh, of course this is the first time he's playing with Maria so that makes things a little different. Smart play, and with good feel. Laura Sigmund there making the perfect return and then choosing a perfect lob as well. Good start. I think you're going to say that a lot about Laura tonight. Yep. She is one of the cagiest players out there. She's quite a street fighter and a hustler. She's going to get in their faces. I like cagey too. You like That's that, good though. in tennis, I think. <laughs> It's not all about power and, no. and you know, heat on the ball. It's, it's, it's about working the ball around, picking the right place to hit it. When you have someone that gets as close to the net as Petros does, then you have to bring in the lob because he was just everywhere the other night and you know, less than a foot away from closing down the net at times. You think, oh, he might just touch it, but it just takes away so many options from the baseline. He currently is at a, a career high rank of 81 in the world. He's played all the slams in men's doubles. And in October, there was family delight as himself and Stefanos won the 250 in Antwerp. Brothers uh, winning a tour title. That doesn't happen very often. That's an excellent start from the Greeks. Now, John, I'd love you to look at this one. Two brothers, both coached uh, by their parents, particularly their mother, Julia. Two very different service actions. Isn't it funny sometimes? We're all different. And this is where, as a coach, you have to be skillful enough, I think, to, to see the skill sets of of the young people you're teaching and then adapt to them. Try to incorporate... I mean, the finish there is sort of interesting, isn't it? In what? In which respect? Well, they sort of finish in a similar fashion, yeah. but the beginning of the service motions are quite different. I have to say, I, I feel that Petros's motion is more fluid and more, less mechanical. Talking about service motions, you know, I'm going to get one of the best now here. Of course, Petros and both Sasha have something in common. They are younger brothers. Sasha's so, older brother, Misha, was a top player on the tour. They've also won a title together. He's won two in total. Still only 26 years of age. Currently ranked at seven in the world in singles. He's let his doubles slide. He was top 70 at one point. He's never really uh, had too much on that tour. Currently just inside 200. Greeks are going to have fun tonight. Mm -hmm. Well, she's uh, very, very confident, isn't she? So 
It's funny, you know, if you do well in singles, I always used to find that you, it just loosened you up. You'd go out onto a doubles court and you, you felt like you could do anything, like you're infallible. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm not sure that's uh, straight out of the textbook. Oh, from down here, that was a hopeful run to the net. <laughs> More than anything, because the lob's not a bad idea, but then you need enough time to just get yourself in the rally, and you have to trust your partner a bit, which is what some of the guys have been figuring out in the mix as the week's gone on. That, yeah, they're actually fine to hit from the baseline. No need to panic and, and go all out all the time at the net. Mm -hmm. He got so close to the net, Laura, there that he, he almost stepped on it. And what do you think, Fitzy? If you're Team Germany, are you just banging a few lines here to try and get him uncomfortable or at least second-guessing himself? Well, I look, I think it, he's going to do something different. Uh, it, uh, running to the net like that was a bluff, really, early on, and he's just trying to, uh, I guess, get someone's attention there, but the opposition's attention. But I, I don't think that's going to be good enough to beat two quality players like this. I think there needs to be a bit more solidity. He can play, though. He serves well, and he's certainly got some energy. One game on. I think this is probably the interesting game. He'll be trying to dominate this particular game from the net, Willy Petros. So this is, let's see how this one pans out, because no doubt the two Germans are thinking a little bit about where they're going to go with these returns because of his potential actions. Oh. So, Laura, you know, for me, that's just too close to the net. And, and, and I know that's the way the modern game of doubles has gone, but what Petros is trying to do there is get a, a free point um, by rolling the dice. Yeah. Now, that's fine, but what happens when you, you do it at the wrong time on a big point and just completely have an air swing like he did there? pick your moments and yeah. probably the side where Zverev's returning is maybe where you might be less active and just hold that line because he could easily wait that split second on his forehand return and open things up but it's, it's certainly ambitious and, and more often than not the other night it was working so he's going to keep going for it oh, got him. You know, the, Laura, the other thing is, this serve of Ma Maria's, it's not like uh, Sasha Sverev's coming at you. There's time to lob this ball. You know, if, if, if someone's six foot six and they're hitting a serve at 220, it's very hard to take the pace off the ball and lob. But with the speed of this serve, they can both lob him as he rushes the net. Laura was backing up there. I think she'd do well to stand her ground against Maria and, and try to come forward. But therein lies the lob. You know, they'll at least get plenty of chances to get into the rally, won't they? Yeah, it just seemed like on that first point of the game, you know, Maria Sakari is expecting Petros to cross almost straight away. So she's then caught off guard if he doesn't. And then you're kind of on the back foot playing the third ball. I just love this scoring setup. It just feels like every point is so important. The sudden death. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Yeah. And that's exactly what will happen. We'll have a deciding point if Siegmund and Azarov can drag this game back to juice.
here we go, here's the first one. And it will be Zachary to Siegmund. Laura can't, she can't contain her excitement down there, I can that, tell. That's why they put her down here. I'm smiling <laughs> because, <laughs> because she's got so much energy, you couldn't contain her within the commentary box. She needs a whole stadium. I'm just getting so excited. It was the third game, my palms are sweaty. <laughs> could be a long night, Laura. Just uh, keep your powder dry. Right, these deciding points are very important in the shakedown. And the Greeks hang on. On what? serve, first set. Well, It's incredibly exciting. It is the Battle of the G's. Greece against Germany for the right to play Australia tomorrow night in the semi-final showdown. It's going to be a busy weekend here on the Ken Rosewell Arena. The stage is set. The great man is also here. Time. And it's Laura going to be Seaman a mixed doubles decider. I can't help thinking that as this match goes on, Laura Sigmund, will, she'll make that volley. She'll be used to the pace, yep. and the lob will get over Petros's head. Let's see. May not, but I think she'll uh, start volleying and winning points in that fashion. The, the, the question mark I have with the German team is that, yes, there's a lot of power hitting from Sasha, but he's not the most skillful guy with his racket face on the volley. So he should have put that volley away then, that second one, in my opinion. But it, that's not his, it is his number one forte. So You're so diplomatic. Yeah, no, he... He, uh, he has many strikes. He'll put a few away, but, yeah, he does. I guess that's what the movement does, though, isn't it? It does put a just a seed of doubt into a baseliner's mind. Well, Lara's got a, an attackable second serve anyway, and then you add in Petros to the mix, who's moving around at all times, and so then you're just thinking where to go on the third ball, and that's where Zverev, as a partner, doesn't help you out quite as much as the Greek team because he's not putting himself in the mix from the first ball. Span, but he touched the net. And it's the Germans' time to be at 15 30. Now you can see straight into it, and the ball wasn't dead. Yeah, so the ball has to be dead. Yeah, it wasn't Smithy. dead. Yeah. If it had bounced twice before he does this, it's okay. Yep. And you, can Good reach, call. and you can reach over the net as long as you don't touch it. You can't reach over it anymore? If it bounces. Less. Yes, if it bounces. First so if it bounces and goes back, you're exactly right. Yes. If it bounces and goes back. Then you can lean over yeah. and hit it. Yeah. But it has to cross the net before it bounces. Yeah, just, just keep, me, keep, me, keep me straight. You really do. <laughs> it's all the excitement. You're giving me way too much confidence. I can't think properly. I'll be fascinated to see what sort of role she plays. She's got a huge personality. She's the smallest player on court, 35 years of age, former US Open women's doubles champion. Right. Won the WTA finals a few months ago in Cancun with Vera Zonareva. And she's also got a mixed trophy from the US Open as well. Mm. Matej Pavic, that was a few years ago, but uh, 
playing, still a top 100 singles player, but playing the best doubles of her career. It, it's kind of why I didn't really understand why she didn't play the other few doubles matches this week. And for Angie Kerber, who would be the first one to say she's not super comfortable at the net. And it really seemed like Zverev was trying to help her out in that, you know, telling her to get forward, uh, to change her positionings a bit. And it seems like it's the other way around here where Laura's telling Zverev exactly where to stand. She's saying, I want to do I formation and uh, is dictating this team. So for a second successive game, we'll go to a deciding point. Yes, I, think, I feel Laura it, is always the boss in any circumstance. Deciding point. So just to get the hang of it, woman to woman here. Good point. King of understatements. A, a great move from Sasha. Team and we remain on self. Well, that's important. And imagine his wingspan at the net. So it is intimidating. Petros by the speed of foot and, uh, and Sasha mainly because of his wingspan. That's, that's intimidating. Good move. For a volleyer who's not totally natural there at the net. Yes, handy being six foot six, almost two metres tall. Oh, a bit of his own medicine there, Petros. Lara moving just nicely, just at the right time to take his eye off the ball. That's the, that's the art of it, isn't it? To, to hold your movement until the ground striker is committed to the direction he's going. Is starting to have a real impact now. Baseline, Laura, there was it. Yep, he's just taken a second look at it. Can't believe that it caught the back edge of the line there. to come in it's it's a good move i think and eventually she'll start making those volleys off the big forehands clever well, she's going to be she's going to be a handful to deal with i think lara as this match goes on how tricky was that return? It barely 15, skimmed 40. the net, and then as the server, you're then picking up the third ball and having to play up on it, which just allows her to go for a bit more on her first volley. Such smart play. Yeah, she, she's 
a very natural doubles player, isn't she? And, and the, the good news for her is that on Petros's serve, she knows Maria's not going to move as much as he will on her serve. So she's got a bit more time on the return. Greek's in trouble here. Yeah. And now the red light should be flashing because it's a break and it goes the way of Team Germany. Dynamic is just cracking me up. Siegmund having a word to the chair umpire here, but she kind of talks at Zverev right up until the last second until he's literally walking away. There's just always more information for her to give. <laughs> yeah, but she's going to power this team, isn't she? She's well, going to drive totally them along. Them. Yeah, she's going to drive them along. Laura, there's a coach on the other team that does a fair bit of talking too, that she's trying to match them. Yes. Suspiciously silent back there on, at the back of the team bench. Deciding at mixed doubles, the partnership of Zarev and Siegmund for the first time at this year's United Cup getting the early break. And it will be the Greeks playing catch up. There is a sit to pass on court, but it's not Stefanos. It's Petros. Next in line, brother. doesn't often make that error, Lara. She'll be disappointed there. The ball maybe caught her a bit for speed. close Laura but he's running at the net when a big ground stroke comes straight at him and gee that makes it hard to pick up the ball early and do something positive with a volley yeah I don't think staying at the back in a baseline rally against Ferrov's the idea either but he just needs to take a split second longer before he makes contact with the ball it's there's like no, no split time. step yep. is there no Tussling out here. I feel like it's like the movie The Sting, you know? Everyone's hustling. <laughs> Time. <laughs> you missed out, Laura. 
<laughs> I'll have to go back and watch it after this. <laughs> you can watch it on one of those sort of history channels or something. shot from a Sasha because this time he couldn't get enough on it and if that ball is not virtually touching the net when it goes over it's going to be an easy put away well there was the move on the first ball where Laura thought about crossing after the serve and probably should have because in women's doubles she would cross every time and, and maybe just needs to have a bit more confidence in, in knowing that this is her bread and butter so a chance here for the immediate break back coaching down there. She, she couldn't loud enough for Laura to hear her. Just I, I think they have a connection. Followed her instructions perfectly. The Lauras have to stick together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Big moment in the first set again. Third, excuse me, yes, third deciding point uh, of the set already in the opening six games. the second round will do very nicely and the Germans maintain their break advantage. Team Germany leads four games to two. If you're not holding Zverev serve, something's gone very wrong, so they got out of trouble there, but just shows how important the first serve percentage is in the mixed. I'll tell you what, we saw a very good catch in the outer as well. Magnificent. A, that's a classy move right there and great feel. I'm sure she'll get used to the pace as this match goes on. I mean, when she when the pace comes to her that she's used to, she's just uh, just like an artist, isn't she? Well, you have to remember this is her first match of the week. Yeah. Good point. Yep. I think the confidence will come from flooding through very quickly. She's. Uh, Played so well in doubles in recent years. Yeah. Causing a lot of problems, yeah. aren't they? Well, she understands the game. She understands doubles. She, she doesn't also, she not only understands tennis, she's got a psychology degree as well. So she's got everything now, covered. Now I am jealous. Yeah. She's educated as well. Her thesis was about uh, dealing with pressure. And, uh, those kind of situations. Interesting character, Lara Siegmund. think of anything at the speed that Spirit hits it that is in the alley will win him the point. I mean, if he goes across court, sometimes he'll lose the point. Because of Petros uh, moving and getting his racket on. But anything down the line is going to be very difficult for Petros to handle.
just as you think the Greeks are getting out of trouble. There's just a whole lot more around the corner. And Germany now with two chances to get the double break in this opening set. It's going to be hard for him to put the ball away with that one. If he goes across court to his forehand volley, he can actually knock it off a bit easier. That's a little wild. And Germany take full control of this opening set. Team Germany leads five, gets to two. Sehr stark, ihr beiden. Genauso weiter, intensiv weiter. Fokussiert, so intensiv weiter. Super. Komm. Angie Kerber's Private coach Torben Balthus. I forget how I mean, you sat on the bench, haven't you, for team events, John? It's, a, it's, it's long and it's draining, and I don't think he needs to, to do too much while Lara's out there. <laughs> She's kind of completely covered. Well, she, she absolutely knows her way around the doubles court, too. She may well be the, the most knowledgeable doubles person here. It's the fast format of the mixed doubles to decide this Greece-Germany tie. Winner to play Australia tomorrow night under the lights here on the Ken Rosewell Arena. We're getting now to the closing stages of this second edition of the United Cup. Time. And a very good house in here tonight. Seat uh, not too far. Shy of 11,000. Far off capacity. I tell you what, it's going to be at capacity tomorrow night, isn't it? The Australian crowd fired up, whoever they play. At this point, looks like it's going to be Germany. Sorry, John, but this eye formation play is what Zverev and Kerber weren't able to do in their last few matches because with Kerber's second serve, it would have been rinsed on the return and then he's trying to cover all areas of the court. But it's just that doubles connection that Lara has that's just bringing it all together. Would you play two at the back if your team goes right now? Um, well, I think Petros thinks that his best chance is to rush and crowd the net, Laura. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not inside his head, but... I think um, with the ability of... Sasha to move and use that long reach of his. Maybe it would, wouldn't be a bad idea on the first serve. 
Because that's when, if, if she gets the first serve in, that's when Sasha's going to get more likely to get a free point by moving. But I, th I just think he likes to be up, doesn't he? Yeah, doesn't it? Like a, a young chap that takes a, a backward step. <laughs> Pretty hard to get down below the height of the net when you're six foot six, too. Well, that's his, that's his lack of net sort of kudos there. And I'm not sure that's a good idea to have him bend down like that. He was slow getting up. He was off balance when the ball came straight back at him. That's the first thing you do if you're returning, is hit that ball straight at him. Because that's a poor volley, and from there he, he backs up. Well, for a second successive game, the Greeks have a chance to break. Can they convert on this occasion? Dude. So it's a deciding Dude. point. Deciding point. And it's a set point two of the three so far have gone the way of this German team. Sasha's dad in the back row, Alexander Senior, the player himself back in the day. opening set. I'm not sure I've seen Petros hit a volley from more than a metre away from the net tonight. <laughs> it's a forbidden it's pretty, zone. Pretty, pretty hard to miss from there, by the way. You're up that close. Look how close he is. <laughs> it's like a blanket. Petrov serving to stay in this opening set. Broken in his last service game. Oh. Broken easily to 15. an idea of how fast the ball comes at you, doesn't it? <laughs> oh! Yeah, not the cleanest hit. But it found its mark. 
And the Greeks are just get themselves into all sorts of trouble. Zachary just doesn't have the same presence at the net, so it just feels like Zverev's got so much space there to not only try to go for that line, but to go over her head. It's not a good matchup, Laura, is it? His forehand against her volley, it's, it's, it's a bad matchup for Greece. I mean, you see that a lot in the modern men's game where players generally are better ground strokers now than volleyers. So when you have two players up at the net and two guys with big forehands at the back, sometimes it's not a good matchup for the guys who are volleying. is great what entertainment was it KG you suggested earlier that's Laura she's KG I think that was all right. was it so one set point has already gone for the Germans Got two more chances here Let's first serve. Alexander Senior in the white cap just keeping an eye on proceedings. Sublime way to close out the opening set. It goes the way of Germany and they take it in the end by six games to three. Caught with a single handed backhand. The bounce on this serve would be really difficult to handle. Siegerman does have when she's returning Petros to serve is the slice forehand, the block that's staying super low. some of the singles form that she showed earlier today against Angelikova onto this doubles court and bring Greece back into this mixed doubles. He stands out even a little further to his right on that first court, and it creates even more opportunity for that angled serve. He didn't hit that too hard, just 175, just rolled his arm over, but took the ball right up the sideline with angle. That's almost impossible to get back. So good. It's a great heritage, 40, both 15. parents, former players. Is it true you, you, you played against us yeah. one time? Heidi was a good volleyer. 
well, he had a good all-court game. Uh, we played in a, an event called the Gallia Cup. Yes. Sir. There were four nations in the old Yugoslavia. Like an under-19? Under yeah, under-19. Under-19 under 19 event? That's sort of... That sort or was of, it under-21? But it's a restricted age yes, group, isn't it? Yes, restricted age. It was in a place called Maribor in the old Yugoslavia. Mm -hmm. And he beat me 7-5 in the third. He represented Russia. I represented Australia. Yeah. And then he went back to Russia. I didn't see him again. Soviet Union. Excuse me. Soviet Union. First game, second set. He was a good player. Well, that that was kind of the story for both uh, uh, the parents of, of Sasha Arena as well, was uh, a very good player uh, in the former Soviet Union. Neither of his parents really got a chance to travel, and they never really found out how good they, they could become. And he talks about that a lot. He's very aware of the opportunities that he has growing up in Germany. Sasha, yeah, very, very aware. And also, actually, uh, the Tsitsipas family, you know, their mother, Julia, was a good player in the Soviet Union, didn't always get the opportunity right. to travel right. as well. She didn't find out. She wasn't, she wasn't able to fulfill potential, you know, potentially what she could do. Yeah. I think it gives them a different perspective on, uh, on their lives now. Tough one to hold, isn't it? It's broken twice in the opening set. And something that Laura alluded to that Maria doesn't quite have the same presence as yeah. Laura. That's right. And, and you can tell that Sasha's intending to go up that alley virtually all the time. I, I'm going to get my Laura's and my Laura's horribly mixed up. It's already happened once. You're a linguistic no. person. I, I answered to both, don't worry. <laughs> Oh, yes. Take that. That's old style doubles there. Hit, move forward, and knock a volley off. 15 all. It sort of warms my heart. <laughs> to say, Torben Belts will enjoy that as well. You know, he played a little college tennis uh, back in the day, found the, t found the lower circuits of the Pro Tour a little tough, but coached a lot of Bundesliga, German club tennis, so he knows his way around doubles, and Bundesliga is a lot about doubles and how important it is. All day, it's going to go there. So what would you do if you're Sakari here? Because she can't go back in this situation. Yeah, I think she's in trouble, Laura. Gee, I nearly said Laura. But, <laughs> but yeah, fair question, because I'm not sh quite sure. I, I, I think she's got to give herself a little bit more space, possibly. Maybe half a metre, but she's certainly not picking it up early enough. She's simply got to make it or, or they're in trouble. Their best point, I think. Trying to hang on here. Mr. T there, doesn't he, with all that gold? <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. I, I don't think Laura can remember Mr. T either. No. Again, wonderful play. Rick's getting inspired here. 
Well, she made a good volley, did Maria, and then followed it up. So great effort, and they're, they are, in your words, hanging in there. I think Laura's a bit bemused by our intergenerational commentary. I don't know who Mr. T is. Oh, magnificent. I'm just watching Team Germany here because it, it seems like Sarah's a little bit frustrated with the lack of communication at times where Lara is just trying to be so active at the net. And then there's been two points in this game where he's looked a little lost at the baseline because he's not sure if he should be covering the middle or covering the wide court in the tram lines. Fourth siding point of the contest. Gee, he needs a first serve here, I think, because you know where the second one's most likely going. So to not get behind in this point, he needs a good first serve, you'd think. See, that racket of Laura's sounds so loose, you can't hear the ball coming off the strings. So when the ball comes fast like that, it probably increases the difficulty factor maybe of controlling it. Yes, I think I'd love to get one of hers and one of Adrian Malarino's and see, yeah. <laughs> see which, is, which is the biggest trampoline out there. There's hope for the Greeks. So that came off the middle. 15 on. shift in momentum this feels like a major juncture junction in the context of this deciding mixed doubles time violation warning team Germany This happens a lot when she plays women's doubles. She's not shy of using every single second of the shot clock, taking the towel between almost every point. And Sverev was waiting for quite a while at the net before she started the motion, so something for her to keep an eye on.
Gee, Laura, my heart's been in my mouth this game with Sasha at the net. He just hasn't looked convincing at all, has he? He looks much better on the second volley, doesn't he? The first one, he's Morning. so slow to pop up. I mean, I've had three hip surgeries. I feel like I'm getting up there just as quick as he is right now. <laughs> but the second one, he's there. And then, you know, it's just once he's in the rally. But maybe they need to figure out the eye formation. I'm not sure. I think it's information overload here for Sasha. I think Germans have got to keep it, might it, be right. keep, keep it simple. And uh, the kiss method. There's a there's a an opportunity here for the Greeks. This Laura is is point. Laura telling Sasha every point where to move? Yeah, it looks like it, and it's more that there's been a lack of communication once the rally started because he's not sure whether to then stay on that side or commit to the cross. I mean, it's tough when you're playing with someone for the first time and yeah. it's a match with oh, this much pressure. Oh, no, he's, he's down below the net again. That's yeah. not a good sign. I don't like that. Yeah, it's just about smuggled their way through that game. And we remain on serve in the second set. Team Germany leads two games to one. They got away with that one. See, I think it makes more sense to do it on Zachary's return because she struggles if you kick it out wide to her to go flat line. So as a volleyer, you feel a bit more freedom, but Petros playing it fast just doesn't seem to be working. I mean, you talk about information overload, there's like seven people talking on the Greek bench. But only one that was talking from start to finish. It's interesting for me, Laura, to see that Stefanos, who's you know, the best player in that outfit, is, is not adding to the conversation. He probably just feels, what's the point? I don't think there's much more to add. <laughs> Time. So a little gloomy at the moment, the Greeks. Can they hang on here? They're on serve in the second set. Thank you, players are ready. Maybe it's just better to lob, I think, for Laura on the second ball. You know he's going to be close.
40-15. She certainly favours the touch, doesn't she, on the net, Laura Sigmund. So sometimes I'd like to just see her try and blast that ball through the middle. Yep. So not easy for no. Sakri to come on and play doubles, actually, because she just doesn't do it very often. A few tournaments a year. Good well there. Team trying to play under a high-pressure situation, but she levels up. Two games on. Zerub, the only player yet to be broken out here. New restring. Zverev service game, it was 15 all. then he bombed down three big first serves and you just have to hope that he's going to miss a couple so you get a look at a second to do something different. And Zachary's so far back covering the kick. <laughs> this one's going to probably kick up high too, Laura, this one. She's in close now. She did well, didn't she, on that return. And Sverev's gone line on Petros so successfully so far that he's going to keep doing it. But at one point, Petros is going to start making these volleys. He did the other night. And once he makes a few, he gets so much confidence to keep going for it. Pickings, and we remain on serve in the second set. Team Germany needs three games to two. Second set, it's certainly Germany with the advantage. Can happen in this doubles format. Can change gears very quickly. Still very much up in the air who will take on Australia tomorrow under the lights here on the Ken Rosewell Arena. Time. Wait, please. Oh boy. Laura, was that the paint on the strings that he was just trying to dry? No, no, no. no that was a bug, and it came oh, okay. very close Apologies. to me. Apologies. <laughs> Too close. Beautiful reaction. That can win you. That can win your matches. Those reflex uh, volleys that turn into a winning point. That's really 
A two point swing right there. There's no shot that Sasha was going to get a look at that smash, was it? I mean, she just pushes him out the way. It's brilliant. It's half his size. some chaos he's never had a straightforward Love service game has he since the start of the match yeah. i just think of the hazards of uh, of uh, the media world the, you've got the bug there with you laura we had the pigeon in the commentary box the other day snake yes. in brisbane in the snake in brisbane yeah and the other night laura had the, the greek fans practically toppling over the uh, the front row of the stadium on, on on top of her. Uh -oh. it's, 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 what, what could possibly happen by the time we get to the end of this United Cup? Oh dear. 25 seconds. It should be enough. Yeah. And she knew it was going there. 15, 30. Yeah, I think if you can't play within 25 seconds in mixed doubles maybe you should forfeit a point immediately <laughs> and toughen up those rules <laughs> stiffen them up average rally length can't be more than three or four <laughs> shots exactly It was kind of going body enough on her that it would have been quite hard to dodge, but yeah, it looked like it was going to go long. I think she thinks so too. Yeah, it's hard to judge the fly, doesn't it? Yet you have a microsecond to decide. Yeah. Oh, this big moment here for the Greeks. Tight. A little bit nervous there. Tight, I thought. Not a difficult return, really. to see Germany home. Team Germany leads four games to two. Brits have probably got one more look at the Siegmund serve. They did have a chance to break in the last game, in the last service game, so there is hope. It, not too much confusing information for Sasha coming his way. That is real dedication, isn't it? See that sign? Drove six hours on his birthday to watch uh, Sasha play. where he just hasn't quite spent enough time up in the forecourt. The reaction there.
to be able to defend this volley. Perfectly directed forehand there, really. I think caught him going the wrong way. Excellent play. She's not a penetrating volleyer so much, is she? Sorry, Laura, sorry, Laura but she, she just takes the speed off so many of these volleys. So if you're at the baseline and you hit a ground stroke at her, you have to be moving forward. You read my mind. Almost every single one has been some sort of drop volley or angle volley. And it's more like she's building for the next shot because just in case they pick it up, then she's right on top of the net. She's so close moving forward. She plays a lot of doubles on the women's tour with Vera Zonareva from the Wimbledon and US Open singles finalists. And, uh, and they won the US Open together. And they are two KG customers. They tie the youngsters in knots with a, with a brand of tennis that I think the, the younger generation are really not quite sure how to cope with. They found their niche. She's going to really appreciate being out here because she had a very nasty knee injury, blew her ACL when she was at a career high ranking. That was about, I think that's about seven years ago, six and a half years ago. She just won the Stuttgart, the Porsche Singles Grand Prix. Ranking. Yeah. yeah, she was just at her career high and had to start all over again. Starting to enjoy themselves now. One game away from a place in the semis. Team Germany leads five games to two. Germany on the brink here. And we will have a return fixture tomorrow night against the Aussies. If we can just close out this second set. Also, an interesting development because Laura Siegerman is meant to be playing Adelaide Qualies, which I think starts tomorrow. So she's made the decision to stick with the team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think she'll be heading down to South Australia. It's <laughs> a great setting too. It's a mighty nice state. It to is visit, a very nice way. place. I know it's your your home your home base. Oh. Let's save the tie now, Marina Sakari. It's uh, well in the singles earlier in the day.
it was Greece who uh, won Group B to qualify uh, quite comfortably, actually, in a group with Chile and Canada for this quarterfinals. It was the Germans who were the best runner-up in Group D in a very uh, tough trio alongside France and Italy. But it looks as if they're going to make the most of the getting the advantage of a, a second chance. rather finish it here, wouldn't they? Let's for serve. Just the chance to wrap things up after all. Deciding point. And the Greeks hang on a little longer. And 20 minutes or so on the clock. The deciding mixed doubles. And it's match point Germany. Zarev to do team the honours and take his team through. Try to be too clever there with the return. That could have been a lob. She had enough time to play it. Petros was <laughs> inches away from touching the net. Yeah, he's never shown any sign at all that he can cover a lob all day. So it, it's, a, it's a risk to go across like that because he can cover that one if he goes early enough. So here we go. Thank you. 
surely now. 40 long. Thank you. Germany are into the semis. Team Germany. Two sets to love. Six three. Very comfortable deciding mixed doubles for Seaman and Zerev. They went in straight sets. Six three. Six three. They will be back tomorrow night to face the Aussies, Aussies in what will be a packed Ken Rosewell Arena.